Brian Scott with you again. We're speaking about the insight to end times. Paul was referring to this in 2 Timothy chapter 3 when he said, Know this, in the last days, perilous times are going to come. Perilous times, times of great danger, great uh, stress, a lot of risk, a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, uh, signs of the end times. And then he goes on to give us 25 factors that define this or describe this so we'll have a picture of what's going on. We've been talking about unthankfulness over the last week or so. And uh, it's very important because it leads to unholiness. And unholiness takes a nation, a culture, and a people into a realm of no fear of God, no respect for God, no respect for the house of God. And that seems to be the case today. We've seen such a deterioration in our in our uh, respect for God, in our schools, in our homes, and everywhere else. Romans 1.22 says, they profess themselves to be wise, but they are indeed fools. They've been given over to foolishness. We've got a group known today as progressive thinkers. And these are people who are introducing us to a new way of life, new standards in life, more freedoms in life, fewer, fewer uh, restrictions in life, live life to its fullest, do whatever you want to do because that's the way it is. They have no boundaries, no conduct code, and so on. We see this everywhere. It's absolutely amazing to me uh, how it has crept into our society, our culture. Uh, in Romans 1.28, God says, as long as this continues to persist and they don't turn around, I'm going to turn them over to reprobate minds. And when they have reprobate minds, they are going to be um, unreliable and untrustworthy. Uh, they won't have standards. Uh, they will have disregarded all of God's standards. Paul said in 1 Timothy chapter 4, when he wrote uh, Timothy, he said, um, in these last days, people are going to depart from the faith and they're going to give heed to, or they're going to pay attention to seducing spirits and doctrines of demons. I believe we have just endured two and a half years of the most seducing set of spirits we've ever seen on a worldwide basis, as well as so much deception, we don't know what's right, what's wrong, what's up or what's down. You can't tell me, I guess you can tell me, but um, you, can, you can't support it, that this is the way it is. We got to do this to protect ourselves. We got to do this to protect ourselves. It varies from month to month, week to week. If a mask doesn't work, distancing will. I don't know who came up with the figure six feet is the key. Maybe it should have been seven feet. Maybe it should have been 5.6 feet. Like, who, who thinks up these things? And what are they basing it on? So here's where we've ended up. We have a, we have a society that's reached a low point. We have a church that's almost ineffective, inert, almost neutralized. We have a spirit of unthankfulness and unholiness that swept through the land. Gratitude is gone, appreciation is gone. We have reached this point. No fear of God, no fear of judgment, no fear of consequences to sin, full toleration of everything that the, the Word of God, the Bible says is no, 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 no. We don't condemn sinful practices. We accept them. In fact, we accept things that 15 or 20 years ago we were absolutely abhorred by. Things have really shifted and changed. People are only living to please themselves. We are on the verge of the end. That's why we've got to get ourselves ready. See you tomorrow. Call you blessed. Amen.